winter, the bane of the motorcyclist's existence. Gone are the after-work rides and the weekend trips. They've been replaced with freezing temperatures and drivers that are somehow even worse than they were in the summer. But don't let it get you down. There's only five more months to go. But just because we can't ride our bikes doesn't mean we can't have some fun with them. Winter time is upgrade time, and my XSR is definitely due for some. But we'll talk a little bit more about that after the intro. So what this is, it's going to be the first episode of my Winter Mod Series. And I decided to call it a Mod Series over a Build Series because we're not really doing a build. We're just doing bolt-ons, some power coating, some part changes, nothing too crazy, something anybody with some hand tools could do. The first thing we're gonna look at is installing a new projector headlight from, I think, Sky Ant, Sky Tant? I don't know. I saw somebody running it on the Facebook group for XSRs, and I thought it was kind of interesting because not only is it a projector headlight, it also has integrated turn signals. So I'm thinking two birds, one stone, because the headlights, serviceable, could be better, but these turn signals gotta go. So, let's grab some tools and get to work. Alright guys, apparently my GoPro wasn't recording or wasn't working. Uh, so basically what I've done is I removed the headlight portion from the headlight housing. It's two fasteners, there's one over here, one over here. They're four millimeter. Once you take that off, um, tilt the headlight up like this. There's a lip here. That way the whole, the headlight portion will come loose. And then we'll have the headlight uh, housing here. Uh, now we're going to remove that. I've taken all the wires loose. They were all wrapped up up here, which would have been nice to show you guys. But uh, yeah, these, everything just unplugs, comes loose. You'll have a couple trees. Be careful, it's plastic. Not that we're reusing it or anything. But yeah, let's move on to removing the headlight housing. To remove the housing, you're gonna want, you got a, a 10 millimeter um, nut in here. So you're gonna wanna position another wrench or something. And then the Allen fastener on um, the outside is five millimeters. And then we have the spacer. I like to keep all my stuff together. Nice. Now that the headlight is unfastened, we can kind of rock it a little, start working these connectors out. With the headlight housing removed, I'm gonna take my cowl off. Uh, you guys probably won't have to deal with this, but if you're interested in this cowl, it's a nice, cheap $20 cowl I got off eBay. I've done a video on it, check it out if you think it's cool, but uh, let's pop that off and we can move on to the turn signals. With the cowl off, it's time to move on to these turn signals, which are pretty easy. You just kind of peel up this rubber, rubber portion, slide this plastic out, and they just kind of squeeze through. Super simple. There we go. Definitely not gonna miss these. Right, so we have the headlight itself from S -S Skitty Ants. Thank you, Skitty Ants, uh, for the, they didn't send this to me, I bought this. All right, so let's take a look at the headlight itself. Got some projectors, pretty nice. It's a good looking headlight. Got the integrated turn signals, the projector itself, the housing, and we're gonna start with the housing because we need to get the housing on the bike before we can take a look at any wiring that we're gonna have to do, which shouldn't be too much to get this to work. 
So, got the headlight out, got a couple of Phillips head fasteners. Uh, I just want to make a note, the headlight does come with these brackets, but we're not going to use them. We might end up using some of the hardware, but we're going to try and just attach it to the stock XSR brackets. So we'll probably have to modify the brackets, but we'll get into that when it's you know, when the time comes. So what I've done is I took the new housing from the headlight and mounted it to the bike using the stock spacer, bolts, and nuts. So all the stock hardware, and I pulled all the wiring through just to kind of get a rough look at how we're going to have to, we're going to have to kind of finagle some of this and hook it up, and we'll get to that later, but I just wanted to see how it looked on the bike. Uh, from what I'm seeing, the stock hardware works completely fine on this, uh, the bolts that come with the new headlight are pretty pretty short. I don't think they would reach with the stock spacer setup, but when I put the stock headlight hardware in there, I haven't had any problems. This thing is not going anywhere, so I think that will be just fine. So we're gonna start with the front left uh, turn signal. I had opted not to get turn signal adapters. We're just gonna wire this up. We're gonna wire some spade connectors for the turn signals. And the running lights, as you can see on the new projector, these are all spade connectors. So I'm gonna chop it right around here. That way we can plug, we should be able to plug this into the um, regular stock wiring on the bike. All right, let's do the next for the other side. So, uh, we're going to start with the left front turn signal. I've got my spade and wiring lined up. Just have to solder it, and then we're going to add a spade connector to the right side. And then we'll wire everything up, and we should be good to go as far as plugging into the SkyTant projector headlight. And we should have daytime running lights, and we should have turn signals, no problem. Basically where we're at now is I have the spade connector added to the left uh, turn signal connector. We're going to combine these blue wires for our running lights and then uh, untee them off together and then put a spade on here for the headlight and then we can move on to the right turn signal, put a spade on that and as far as modifying the wiring goes we should be good to go to install the headlight. I want to show you the wiring on the headlight real quick as far as the connection you're going to want to make. So we have the teed off blue wires coming off the turn signal connectors. 
That's gonna go to brown. That's gonna be our uh, daytime running lights. Then we have the blue uh, connector coming off of the headlight. That's gonna go into the dark green. And then we have the gray connector. That's gonna go into the brown connector. So when I fired the bike up, the turn signals were reversed. So I'm like, what's going on? So I took the headlight out again, double checked it, and it turns out I had these two flips. So this is the correct wiring if you're gonna use the stock turn signal connectors for this kind of job. Now, as far as putting the headlight back in the housing, there's no great way to show you guys how to do this. You're gonna have to kind of loop all this wiring around to make room for the projector itself. Uh, it's gonna be a little trial and error. Um, I've taken it on and off quite a few times at this point. It's not that bad. It is pretty cramped in there, so you're gonna have to get creative with it, but there's no way to really show you. As you see, I'm trying to get all these connectors towards the back and kind of looped around. Um, you guys are gonna figure it out on your own, but yeah, I just want to show you guys this real quick with the headlight. Now that we've removed the stock turn signals from the front of the bike, we got to get rid of these boys in the back because that would just look silly. I actually like how visible they are, but the ones that I got look a lot cooler. So let's start out with removing these so we can install the new ones. So our first step is we're going to remove all these bolts to get this hardware off and make a little room for our turn signals to come off. These are eight mil. Step. We're gonna just take this velcro bit out. As far as removing the turn signals themselves, it's pretty much the same story as the front side where you have these rubber portions of the turn signals, the plastic's keeping them in. It's kind of hard to film and remove these, but these are very simple. You just kind of pop them up like that, get the plastic out of there. We'll do the other side real quick too. And then that way the wiring is ready to be disconnected. And we're ready to pop some new turn signals. There it goes. Nice. It's tricky to do this at the same time. Break it happen. There we go. These right here are your turn signals connect connectors. They should look pretty familiar because they're pretty much the same thing as the front. So the stuff should be looking nice and familiar at this point. We're gonna crack these nuts loose, 10 mil. All right, so your mileage is gonna vary a little bit with this. Um, I have the Graves Fender Eliminator, so it's gonna be a little different. Uh, if you have the same eliminator, that's gonna be pretty convenient, but you're gonna have to kinda, depending on your application, um, things might get a little different at this point. But basically what I'm doing is I'm removing the trim tunnel underneath the fender so I can get easy access to the wires. So let me pop this out. So squeeze that, and this comes right off, revealing our turn signals. And if I remember correctly, this just comes up. Yep. And then we're gonna have some uh, trim trees to remove the stock turn signals. Bam. Now that we got all that out of the way, let's hit it with a trip tool. And two. So we have our plastic retaining clips off the turn signals. And then these should just 
pop right out just the same. There we are. Let's take a look at what I got from TST Industries. To start, we have our flasher relay. This is going to come in handy later. We have the mounting kit for the turn signals themselves. This is the kit two if you're looking on uh, TST's website. Then we have the turn signals uh, themselves, the echoes. Uh, I really like the shape uh, of these turn signals. Uh, I think it's kind of leans into the retro look of the bike and the size is nice because with the bike I always plan on keeping the original uh, fender uh, for the rear uh, and stock tail light. So I like that these are low profile but bright enough where people will notice. And I mean, obviously they're a huge step up from the, uh, the pumpkin turn signals that I had on there, you know, the stock ones. And then these are um, rings that go on the turn signals. They have uh, an optional kit you can buy with different colored rings. This might, you know, this I'm, color might come into play later with some powder coating, but uh, I think it's gonna look really cool on the turn signals. So what we're gonna do is uh, get um, the turn signals wired up and pop them on, get the relay installed, and we're good to go. We're going to begin by cutting the stock connectors off of the turn signals. From here, I'm gonna strip these wires, prepare them for solder. Real quick, I just wanted to show you guys, I mentioned those rings, those golden rings for these turn signals that you can get. Very easy to swap out. Just, there we go. might be a bit hard to show you guys but what we need to do is grab our fender and grab the adapter kit we've got these bigger ones for the inside going like that and then we have the smaller ones that fit on the outside and then we'll pull our turn signal through we've got a washer and a nut and after that we just have to solder our connectors Get our washer. And our nut. I put it on loosely there for now. I'm gonna do the other side before I make any tight adjustments. I wanna make sure they're aimed properly. So we'll just install the next side as well. Definitely an improvement. At this point, we're ready to solder the stock connector back on. Your ground, which is your black wires, are gonna go, uh, go together. And for the left turn signal, you have your brown, yellow. It's fairly self-explanatory. Although, I have noticed that the nut that comes with these turn signals is kind of small. It won't go over the stock connector top, so you'll have to install the uh, turn signals first. And I guess if I have to take them off, I might just have to clip it and resolder it, but I don't have any plan on taking these turn signals off for any reason 
I just wanted to make you guys aware of that, just in case maybe down the line you're, you want to switch to something else. It's going to be something you're going to run into, but for me, it's not a big deal. I like these turn signals. I have no plans on swapping them out, so we're going to start soldering, and we're good to go. So the audio on these clips didn't record properly. Uh, basically what I'm showing you guys is at this point we're going to line the turn signals up, tighten them up. Uh, the nut is 14 millimeter, and then once we got those lined and tightened, uh, put the C key trim back on, and at that point the fender is ready to go back on the bike. Placing the stock relay is super easy. It's right here. Just loosen it up. And then we have a connect connector. It's kind of buried. I don't want to risk breaking anything. There we go. Stock relay out. And then we have the replacement relay from TST going in. Set that just like that. Let's fire the bike up and see what we're looking at. All right, guys, that's it as far as the Skytan 7-inch, or Sky, whatever it's called, 7-inch uh, headlight install on the XSR 900, as well as the Echo turn signals from uh, TST. Overall, it's not a bad install. Um, if you're not afraid of doing some soldering and a little bit of light wiring, you'll have no trouble with the headlight. Uh, the turn signals, very straightforward, and even if you don't want to start cutting stuff up back here, you can always just buy the adapters. But yeah, thank you very much for taking uh, checking out the video. Sorry it took so long to get out to you guys. I started filming this like around Christmas and everything got kind of busy. Then I got sick, so it kind of took me a month to put a headlight and some turn signals on. But um, episode two of the Winter Mod series should be coming out very soon. In the second episode, we're going to start doing some teardown on the bike, especially mostly the tail section of the bike because I got to start sending some stuff out to powder coat. But we'll get to that when we get to it. As always, thank you very much for checking out the video. Please leave a comment, throw me a like if you'd like, and if you like what I do, please consider subscribing. Uh, thanks as always, guys, and I will see you in the next one.